So if you and I go to a building and there's no ramp, typically people think the problem is that we use wheelchairs. Where a social model of disability would say, the problem is that the building's not accessible. And it doesn't seem like a radical concept, but it changes the fundamental way we think about disability and, and the work that we need to do to include people with disabilities. People often don't understand ability to be within this kind of uh, context and access to adaptive devices and where we are located economically. Um, you know, when I have my access needs met, I'm functionally not disabled. You know, but when places have stairs and everything is built for people that stand so I can't see anything and, you know, it's a really dark environment so I can't see anything um, because, you know, as you get older, your vision changes. <laughs> um, so now I need a lot of light to see things. In an environment like that, of course, I'm disabled. I really like separating out impairment from disability. So impairment as you know, like physical or neurological manifestation, like what's real, I have a physical impairment. Mm -hmm. And then disability is like what society creates as barriers because of the impairment. Mm -hmm. So like, as you're saying, if we're in a place with, where my access needs are getting met, then my impairment isn't so significant. Um, but when it's not because society doesn't want to, then that's the problem. So I think it's important to really think about like disability and the context of what is disabling, like the environment. The last building I worked in, it was really cool because um, it was universally designed. So all the doors had push buttons or they were like magically open, you know, as you walk up or everything is like automatically at my height. And in that place, I didn't need a lot of accommodations. But then in an environment where it's not universally accessible, where people with disabilities and parents and all types of folks weren't thought of in the design process, um, that's when there's problems. Yeah, I'm not saying like it's easy to live with an impairment. It's not easy to live, you know, when you have like four kids. It's not easy to live when it's like 20 degrees outside. I mean, you know, for those of us in the Bay Area, like 55 is freezing. But, um, you know, I mean, there are times when it's just not convenient to have a body, but that's not what oppresses us. What oppresses us is living in a system which disregards us, is violent toward us, you know, essentially wants to uh, subjugate our bodies or kill us. Uh, that's oppressive. My body doesn't oppress me, my body, my body's fun, but society, <laughs> uh, that, that's, that can be incredibly oppressive. I think when we focus on a person's individual impairment or diagnosis, as you said, it kind of like lets society off the hook. Mm -hmm. It makes all the focus on that individual circumstance when really ableism and exclusion mm -hmm. and violence happen because of systems of oppression. Mm -hmm. So we know it's not like an individual person with a disability that's the issue, but we can look at the way, for example, with policing, victims of police violence are 50% people with disabilities, if not more. Or if we mm -hmm. look at the special, special education system, um, it's not the individual special education student, but we can see how um, special education becomes continued segregation for so many mm -hmm. black and brown students. So when we focus on like the individual impairment, it kind of takes away from that bigger picture. We're seen as disposable because of, for those of us that are not going to have like a treatment or a cure with our bodies um, and we kind of fly in the face of this idea of medicine as God, we're seen as less than and you're awesome, you're fabulous and you are beautiful and I, you're, how could, the idea that someone would think that you're less than is just absurd. And yet that's like the framework that we're in, yeah. And it's incredibly painful. There are always gonna be crips, there are always gonna be, you know, people in pain, it's just the nature of being in a body. But the social body we can change. Um, and that's, I think it requires a power analysis.